This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 3, For Loop. Finally, we're going to get into the For Loop. Okay, this is a big component of programming. It's very common to want to repeat a set of commands a particular number of times. Recently, we've been using a while loop to do this by creating a counting variable, right? That's where we would make like var count equals zero. Setting the Boolean, Boolean expression and incrementing the value of the counter by one each time. We've also used the for loop before, and we'll explain it more in depth now. Yeah, we briefly went over it. You could only adjust the I. Well, you'll see. The for loop was created to wrap around, to wrap all those components related to counting loops into a single line of code. So create counter variable, so var i, right, the uh, boolean expression, uh, the boolean condition, and then the updating of the counter, so plus plus, right, so it's like a wall loop, but it's all in one line. And, oh yeah, that's showing you the pieces, so the wall right here, and then you have the variable declaration right here, and then the iteration, the adding one onto i, i equals zero, then i equals one, so on and so forth. For pro programmers would typically read a loop for var i equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus, out like this. For variable i starting at zero, while i, well, they, we don't read it like that, but I mean in our heads, I guess, uh, i is less than 10, i plus plus, or increment i by one, right? So start i at zero, as long as i is less than 10, keep adding to i each time through the loop one. All right. You may notice that when you drag a for loop out to the toolbar that we've set it up for you with i as the variable. Why i the variable? Ooh, I want to expand this. Uh, I think, here. Uh, using the single character i as a variable in the loop has become conven convention in programming for a variety of reasons. Yes, it is the convention in all languages I've encountered. One reason is that for loops are often used when processing arrays. Can you think of i as shorthand for index? There is no reason why you have to use i. This is true, you can use something else. If you don't want to, it's just a variable. But it's standard, it's nice to use, people know what it is. Do this, drag out the for loop. You also want to be careful not to always use i when you have a for loop inside a for loop because having the same variable can mess you up. I do that all the time. Drag out a for loop, insert the council log statement. For loop, council log. Okay, I'm gonna do that, it's easier to see, I think. Try changing the condition to stop the loop, make it run longer. Okay. Let me get rid of this space. Let's make our loop, let's test it first. Message, okay. Now let's make it run longer. That would be changing this. The amount you change by each time. Try adding plus plus, like, oh yeah, yeah. So that would add five to it each. This is adding five to it each time. And I mean, we can see by, this will output our, ah, variable. And it only goes up to 15. Starting i. Oh yeah, you can also change starting value of i. But uh, cool. All right, let's see what else we can do with this.